All right, so get this. Today, we are diving into a CIA document from, get this, 1983. Oh, wow. Called Analysis and Assessment of the Gateway Process. And I know what you're thinking. What in the world was the CIA doing messing around with consciousness, right? Yeah, exactly. And that's exactly what intrigued me about this whole thing. Yeah, well, I mean, you kind of think about it. This wasn't some random research project, you right, know? Yeah. This document, like... It was prepared for the commander of the U.S. Army Operational Group. Wow. And they specifically requested an assessment of something called the Gateway Experience. Okay. Like, was it legit and did it have any practical uses? You know, could we use this? So it really is like something straight out of a spy thriller. Totally. So from the excerpts, it looks like they were trying to figure out if this training system, if it could, like, enhance human potential. Maybe even give them an edge in intelligence gathering or something like that, you know? Yeah, for sure. And the document itself, it gets into some pretty out there stuff. You know, this yeah. isn't just some like meditation or relaxation techniques. Mm -hmm. They're exploring biofeedback, hypnosis. Oh, wow. Even quantum mechanics. What? And get this, they were looking at how these things might allow us to, and I'm quoting here, escape the limitations of time and space. Okay, now that's where it gets really wild for me. Yeah. So before we get too far ahead of ourselves, can you break this down for our listener? What exactly is the Gateway Experience? Like what kind of training are we even talking about here? So at its core, the Gateway Experience is presented as a system for like boosting your brain power. And they do this specifically by amplifying and synchronizing the brainwave patterns between the left and right hemispheres of your brain. Brainwave pattern synchronization. This is getting a little complex. Maybe you could elaborate on that a little. Sure. Yeah. So imagine like a light bulb versus a laser pointer. Yeah, okay. The light bulb, it scatters light everywhere, right? All okay. directions. Right. That's kind of how our brain usually is, kind of scattered and unfocused. Okay. But a laser, it's a highly concentrated beam of light. And that's what the gateway process is aiming for, to create a state of focused coherence in your brain waves. Okay. Okay. I think I'm starting to get the picture. Okay. So how does this training actually work? What are they having you do to achieve this brain wave coherence? Well, the document analyzes three main methods used in the gateway experience. Hypnosis, transcendental meditation, and biofeedback. Yeah. And what's interesting is that they didn't see these as separate things. Okay. But rather tools that when used in a specific way could create a pathway to like deeper states of consciousness. Okay, so we've got hip hypnosis, meditation, biofeedback. That's not exactly new concepts. Right. So what makes their use in the gateway experience unique? What are they trying to achieve? It's all about precision and intention. Okay. The documents suggest that these techniques are used to achieve a state of like profound relaxation and synchronization between the two hemispheres of your brain. Okay. Which they call hemisync. Hemisync. Yeah, it's like tuning a musical instrument. You're fine tuning your brain ways to achieve a specific state. I have a feeling that hemisync is a pretty crucial part of this whole thing. Oh, yeah. So can you tell us a little bit more about it? Absolutely. So hemisync is described as a patented audio technology that uses binaural beats. Okay. Now, binaural beats are created by playing two slightly different sound frequencies, one in each ear. Okay. And here's where it gets really interesting. Your brain, in an attempt to reconcile the difference between those two frequencies, perceives a third frequency, a beat. That's the difference between the two original ones. Okay, so you're playing two different frequencies in each ear, and our brain is creating a third frequency. Exactly. Okay, I think I'm following so far. But what do these binaural beats actually do to your brain? Like, what's the point of all this? Well, the document dies into a phenomenon called the frequency following response, or FFR. Okay. Basically, when your brain is exposed to a specific frequency, like those in binaural beats, yeah. it tries to synchronize its own electrical activity to match that frequency. It's like your brain is trying to get in sync with the beat. So this hemisync technology is essentially using these binaural beats to guide your brain waves into specific patterns associated with different states of consciousness. Precisely, yeah. Wow. They claim that by adjusting these frequencies, they can induce a range of states from deep relaxation to heightened awareness. And even, according to the document, those altered states of consciousness 
often associated with out-of-body experiences. Okay, now we're getting to the good stuff. Yeah. But hold on a second. The document doesn't just focus on sound, does it? There's this whole other aspect of resonance they discuss. Here. Right. The concept of resonance is central to the gateway experience. Mm -hmm. The document suggests that when your body is brought into a deep state of relaxation and coherence using hemisync, it can actually start to resonate with the Earth's electromagnetic field. Okay. And this is where things get really interesting. Resonating with the Earth's electromagnetic field, what does that even mean in this context? And how does it relate to those out-of-body experiences you mentioned? Yeah, so the document uses this really evocative phrase, clicking out of time space. Okay. They describe it as a shift in your perception, where movements can feel different, kind of jerky, and even our normal understanding of cause and effect can become distorted. Wow. They suggest this clicking out is how you might access information from different points in time or even different dimensions. Oh, hold on. Different dimensions. Now, this is starting to sound like a science fiction movie. I have to admit, my curiosity is officially peaked. I know, right? <laughs> but before we get too far ahead of ourselves, let's take a quick break. Okay. We'll be back soon to unpack this concept of clicking out and explore exactly how this gateway experience claims to achieve such a thing. Don't go anywhere. Radio Shack. America's technology store. Computer shopping has never been better at Radio Shack. Here's proof. Our new ultra high performance 386SX 20 megahertz computer with 85 megabyte hard drive, only $12.99. And it's from Tandy, manufacturer of the best selling PC compatibles in America. Or get a 286 based Tandy home office computer with color monitor and hard drive, only $899.95. Shop your friendly nearby Radio Shack. Great selection, superior service. Nobody compares. Welcome back. I bet you're ready to delve a little deeper into this whole clicking out phenomenon. You read my mind. Before the break, we were talking about how the gateway experience supposedly allows you to tap into the Earth's electromagnetic field, which sounds pretty wild, but the document seems to imply that this is key to achieving those altered states of consciousness. Absolutely. And maybe even things like out-of-body experiences. Yeah, you're right. On the money, the document really leans into those extraordinary claims. Yeah. It connects this clicking out experience to like a fundamental shift in how we perceive reality and suggests this state can be used to potentially access information or even influence events beyond our normal perception of time and space. OK, so there's this idea of clicking out this shift in perception. But how does that actually happen? What's the mechanism they're proposing? How does resonating with the Earth's electromagnetic field lead to such a profound change? So the document gets really detailed here, points to figure A, a diagram called the homunculus. Okay. And this diagram, it shows how different parts of your body are mapped onto your brain. Okay. I vaguely remember that diagram. It looks a little strange, if I'm being honest. Yeah, it's a little out there. What's the significance of this homunculus in relation to the gateway experience? Well, the document suggests that as you achieve, like, deeper states of resonance, with the Earth's electromagnetic field through techniques like hemisync. Okay. It triggers a kind of biopsycho feedback loop within your body. Okay. Imagine like this. Your body becomes like a more finely tuned antenna. Okay. Capable of both receiving and transmitting subtle energy frequencies. So it's like our bodies are picking up on subtle energy signals from the Earth, and this heightened sensitivity somehow unlocks these altered states of consciousness. That's the idea. Okay. And it even ties this concept of resonance to some pretty cutting edge scientific theories of the time, like the holographic universe theory. Now, the holographic universe theory, that's a whole other can of worms. So for those who aren't familiar, can you give us a quick rundown of what that's all about? Sure. So imagine a hologram, right, where even a tiny fragment of it contains information about the entire image. Okay. The holographic principle, as it relates to the universe, suggests that reality, as we perceive it, might be a kind of projection from a higher dimensional reality. Yeah. Know? So instead of a solid objective reality, what we experience is more like a projection. It's almost like saying our universe is a giant, incredibly complex hologram. Exactly. Wow. And according to this theory, every point in space time contains information about the entire universe. Okay. Now, the document links this to the gateway experience by suggesting that through these altered states of consciousness, right individuals might be able to access information encoded within this universal hologram. Hold on. So they're saying that by achieving these deep states of resonance, we might be able to tap into this universal information field and potentially learn, well, anything. That's the implication. And it goes even further. Oh. The document proposes that by altering our own energy patterns, 
through specific techniques, like something they call patterning, we might even be able to influence events in the physical world. Patterning, that sounds intriguing, but also a little intimidating. What exactly is patterning in this context? And how would one go about influencing reality? Well, the document describes patterning as a technique yeah. that might be accessible in those like advanced states of consciousness, okay. where you're deeply connected to this universal energy field. Right. It suggests that by consciously directing your intentions and energy in a highly focused way, you might be able to influence the probability of certain events occurring. So it's almost like using the power of your mind to shape reality itself. That's quite a concept to wrap your head around. It certainly is. Wow. And to be fair, the document acknowledges that this is still theoretical, but the fact that they were exploring these possibilities within the context of a CIA research project, it really makes you wonder, doesn't it? It absolutely does. This deep dive just keeps getting more and more fascinating. But we've covered a lot of ground here. Before we move on to the practical applications of the Gateway experience, let's take a moment for our listeners to absorb all this. We'll be back in a flash to continue our exploration of this mind-bending document. Now, getting a multimedia computer is as simple as one, two, three. One, you need a complete package like this Packard Bell 486DX250 with a 420 meg hard drive, CD-ROM, sound card, monitor, inkjet printer, and over $800 worth of software. Two, you want a low price. Get it all for just $15.98. Three, you want financing. Get 0% financing with no payments for six months on computers and everything in the store, which adds up to great values this week at Best Buy. And we're back for the final part of our deep dive into the CIA's analysis and assessment of the gateway process. The home stretch. Before the break, we were talking about patterning, uh -huh. this idea that you could maybe influence reality itself yeah. by using this universal energy field. It's wild. That's some pretty next level stuff. It really is next level stuff. And it's where this document kind of pushes the boundaries of what we think is possible. Right. But, you know, even with all these mind bending concepts, the document was commissioned for its practical applications. Okay, right, because the CIA is not going to invest in this research without some potential real-world use. Exactly. So let's talk about those applications. What did the document identify as possible uses for the Gateway experience? So one of the most intriguing applications was remote viewing. Okay. The idea is that individuals in these heightened states of consciousness could gather information about distant locations or events. Okay, so like psychic espionage. Basically, yeah. I can see why the CIA might be interested in that. Right. But did they find any evidence to support these claims, though? Well, the document doesn't offer, like, definitive proof. Okay. But it points to anecdotal accounts and preliminary findings that suggest remote viewing or something like it might be possible. So we're not talking hard evidence here. Right. But there are, like, hints and stories. And threads, yeah. That suggests this might not be pure science fiction. Exactly. And remote viewing wasn't the only application they considered. No, they went even further, speculating about using the gateway experience not just for gathering information, okay. but for influencing events. Okay, so like actually influencing events, how? Well, remember patterning. Yes. They proposed that in these advanced states of consciousness, individuals might be able to influence the probability of certain events occurring essentially shaping reality. So we're talking about like influencing reality. Potentially. Which, I mean, that's both fascinating and terrifying at the same time. I agree. Because if it's even remotely possible to influence reality in that way, wouldn't that come with immense responsibility? Absolutely. And the document does acknowledge the ethical implications of these advanced applications. Oh. It really stresses the importance of preparation, mental discipline, and understanding one's intentions when exploring these states of consciousness. It's a good reminder that we're not just dealing with like a fun thought experiment here. This has real world implications. For sure. And that brings us to like the heart of the matter, right? What does this all mean? What does the gateway experience with all its potential and its risks tell us about ourselves and the nature of reality? That's the million dollar question. Right. You know, this document, even though it's from the 80s, it forces us to ask some pretty fundamental questions about consciousness, human potential, and even the fabric of reality. It's been quite the deep dive going through this declassified CIA document. It really has. It's covered everything from like binaural beats and brainwave synchronization to the holographic universe theory. Yeah, it's a lot to take in. And the possibility of influencing reality itself 
I mean, it's enough to make your head spin. It really challenges our understanding of the world, but ultimately that's what makes it so fascinating. Absolutely. This document, whether you believe its conclusions or not, it makes you think beyond our usual limitations and consider possibilities that, you know, we might not have imagined before. And that's what we're all about here on The Deep Dive, pushing the boundaries of knowledge and exploring these fascinating corners of human understanding. Exactly. So to our listeners, thank you for joining us on this incredible journey into the Gateway experience. Thanks for listening, everyone. We hope this has left you with as much wonder and curiosity as it has for us. Until next time, keep exploring, keep questioning, and keep diving deep.